So iOS 16.4 is finally here and so are a lot of new features and changes and a lot of them are hidden like this one right here on the shortcuts app tab the plus button and choose to open app. Now iOS 16.4 will let you choose the icon of that app. So let's select an app here. What you need to do is tap that little icon right there. And now you get to choose whether you want to use the icon of the app or you want to use a custom icon which you can customize here. You can pick the color and of course pick any of the symbols right here. You can create your own icon. Tap done and when you add it to the home screen you will now have this new icon that you have just created. This and other hidden features are really amazing on iOS 16.4. As usual, Apple will talk only about the main features of an iOS update, but there is a lot more and in this video I will show you guys 20 more hidden features that you will be able to find on your device running the new iOS 16.4. And we're still staying here on the shortcuts app. An amazing new shortcut allows to shut down your device using a shortcut. Now to create that, you tap the plus button and on the action, search for shut down. Once you find shut down, you tap on it. And right here, you can create a shortcut to simply shut down your device just by tapping on it. And what's really great is that of course you can add this to your home screen and now you will have a shutdown button that allows you to quickly shut down your device. Another thing you can do is of course reboot your device. Now you do the same thing here on the shortcuts you search for shutdown but now you tap there and you can switch to restart and tap on done and you have created another shortcut which now will reboot your device instead of just turning it off. And of course you can also have it on your home screen which allows you to only use one button to actually reboot your device directly from the home screen. This right here is one of the most useful actions that Apple has recently added to the shortcuts app. It allows you to set the airdrop receiving. You can set it for everyone for 10 minutes or for your contacts only. You search for set airdrop and from here you will have everyone for 10 minutes but you can choose of course contacts only or if you want to just create a shortcut to turn it off you can do that as well. Once you have created this you can also add it to your home screen and this allows us to very easily enable airdrop receiving for your device. You don't have to go to the control center, pass, tap and hold the airdrop button and then choose to turn it on for 10 minutes. All you have to do is just tap that button right there and you're good to go. You have just enabled airdrop receiving on your device simply by using an icon on your home screen. And you will have another one right here which is really great and this one is for VPN. You can set on VPN again using a shortcut connect to VPN is tap right there to select the VPN and again just like the other ones you can have it on your home screen you can turn on VPN simply by tapping that button right there. Now of course these new actions come with Siri as well. Now you can use Siri to turn off your iPhone. You don't have to use the buttons or go to the menu on the settings app. Just ask Siri to do that for you. Turn off my iPhone. And just like that, you will get the option here to cancel or power it off and you can have Siri turning off your iPhone in a second. Now this right here is really cool as well. Finally, Apple has decided to allow us to open bookmarks that we have on the home screen on the default app that we choose. Now usually, previously before iOS 16.4, you would actually add home screen like bookmarks here from Safari and even though you might be using another app like Chrome for example as your default browser, it would still open these only on Safari. Now if you have another browser, a third party browser as your default browser, like I can go ahead and select right now Google Chrome here and set it as the default browser it will actually open these bookmarks on the default browser that you're using and not just on Safari. When it comes to bookmarks, we have another great feature here that now allows for the icons of bookmarks to be much, much better. So you can see right there, that black icon with an F, it will basically pick a color from the website and it will show the first letter of the website. Of course, if the website doesn't have an icon itself, it will show that and not just like a screenshot of the website like it used to show before. And of course, that looks much, much better on the home screen of your iPhone. And this right here is really great as well. It will save you so much time. Whenever you want to share a link and set it to your reminders, it will now automatically add the title and it won't just say new title. So if I just want to add this to my reminders, I can tap the share button right there, tap on reminders, and you can see there we have the title for that reminder. 
previously it would just show right there new title and you had to actually add the title yourself or just leave it as new title but now it will automatically add a title for the link that you're sharing and saving it to your reminders moving into the settings app on ios 16.4 it's a great addition that apple has added when you go to see the coverage for your device you will also see the devices that you have a link to your apple id so if we go to about here and we go to coverage you can see that now it will list my devices that i have on this apple id and not just show my device so it will say this device and then you have the pair devices as well so devices you have paired will show right here of course with the coverage as well you can check the coverage for all of your devices in one place iOS 16.4 also adds new number formats for language and region so if you go right here we'll have number format and you can go ahead and pick which format you want to choose so you'll have like three different options and of course you choose which one suits you better you will find it by going to settings go under general and then go right here to language and region and you will find it right here Another great improvement on the settings app is that now when you go to your settings and you go to sounds and haptics, you will have personalized spatial audio right here. You no longer need to just like dig around and go to the accessibility settings and find there the, your personalized audio. You will find it now under sounds and haptics, just under phone safety, you will find here your personalized audio. Whenever you try to actually unlock a device and maybe you forgot your password, it would show something like this, iPhone unavailable and try again in a minute. If you try again, it will show you five minutes and so on and so on. Now with iOS 16.4, you will have actually a link here, which sends you to Apple support. Of course, where you can find maybe tips or just find something that will help you fix the problem that you have. So whenever you see the screen, you will now also get right there and link to go to the Apple website to make sure that you find a way to actually unlock your device. On the podcast library, you will find something like this. Go to podcast, go to your library, and you will have now a list of all your subscribed channels. Now, Apple is doing a great job with the podcast app. Every update, they're adding something to the podcast app. And this is the newest feature that Apple has added, a list for all the channels where you have subscribed. The music app on iOS 16.4 also has gotten a lot of new features and improvements. One of them can be found if you go to your library, maybe go to your songs or to your artists, you will find a new button right there at the top, which will let you sort your songs. So if I tap right there, I can go ahead and sort my songs by title, recently added or by artist, and just make sure that you have them on the list just like you want to. Another very welcome feature of the music app on iOS 16.4 is the ability to go to the artist page from the library. So if you're on the library and you go to your artists, if you tap on one of them, you will now get a link right there. Just underneath the picture, you will have that little like arrow right there at the name of the artist and you tap on it and it will take you to that artist's page and of course show everything, all the songs of that artist. On the music app on iOS 16.4, it's very easy to go to your account. You will now have an icon right there. Whether you're on the listing now on the radio or your library, you will have that icon right there that takes you to your account. It's easy as that you tap there and you're in a second on your account. There is also a new waveform here for songs. So when you have songs playing, it will show this new waveform, which actually looks much, much better. And it's actually better than the older one. It's maybe kind of hard to actually just take a look at it from the video here, but take a look at it for yourself on the music app. You will see that now it's much different from the old one. Also, when you go ahead and add a song to the queue, Right here, you can see playing next, that button right there, that pop-up is much different from iOS 16.3. The Tips app on iOS 16.4 also has some new guides. If you scroll all the way down, you will find user guides and based on which devices you have paired to your iPhone, you will find guides for those devices. So here we have the iPhone, but we also have guides here for the Apple Watch and AirPods. So if you want to know more about your devices, head on to the Tips app and just scroll at the bottom and you will find guides here for all of your devices. Now, one thing I don't really like about iOS 16.4 is this new change for the screen recording. So when you tap on screen recording and you have a device with the dynamic island, you can see right there, it won't actually let you hide the dot there and the countdown numbers. Previously, you could do that, but now it has changed and you won't be able to do that on iOS 16.4. 
on the Shazam app on iOS 16.4, you get now that menu right there. You tap on the three dots and you will get a menu from where you can actually open the song that you have found on Apple Music, buy it on iTunes or open it on Spotify. You can connect to Spotify from here and of course share or remove this for, from your music. And if you go to the settings and you go to your VPN right here, so let's go to VPN and device management. If you go to VPN, now you will find here a description for VPN and you can actually tap on that link right there and Apple will tell you more about VPNs and privacy. So if you're interested on that, you want to know more about VPNs and privacy and how, how all that works, you can now tap this link and it will open it for you. So that is it for this video guys, these are some of the best hidden features that you will be able to find on iOS 16.4. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.